Tools top fuel car for Coletta Motorsports. 34th career win, third Gator National win, first win of the year. And you take over the point lead. How does that sound as we head from here into Las Vegas? Very nice. Yeah, it, uh, you know, the guys uh, couldn't be prouder of them. You know, all year the thing's been running good. And, um, you know, just happy that uh, I'm in the tracks to shoot at. You know, I don't have to go through the, uh, the drawing this year, which uh, we ended up getting a win after uh, all that was done. But, uh, yeah, just... Uh, <clears throat> You know, it's a great effort that uh, they do for all the top fuel uh, and funny car guys. So uh, proud of that. And uh, but yeah, the thing—it's uh, been running good. Jim and Troy and uh, you know, all the guys—they're working real hard on that thing. And um, just real, real happy to get the win out here today. Number one qualifier in Pomona, final round. Number one qualifier in Phoenix. Didn't quite make it that far. Come here, qualify number four. But on Sunday, you had the best car. Maybe that's the secret. Don't qualify number one. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking about uh, going in it to, into today. Um, and, yeah, it works, so uh, we'll have to keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, it's nice qualifying first, and uh, hopefully we, uh, we can get through that jinx. But, uh, um, you know, the, the place here, I mean, um, you know, the Emily uh, Gator Nationals, I mean, this is where the history of, you know, one of the better history uh, tracks, you know, with the... Uh, down Perdome, or not, uh, you know, Don Perdome, obviously, but uh, Don Garlitz and that whole uh, uh, awards thing at uh, the Hall of Fame, which, uh, you know, it brings in a lot of the, the guys that have been doing this for years, so to, to still have them, you know, here on the grounds and uh, get a win with, you know, all the fans and, uh, you know, just a lot of the history of the, the sport here, it's, it's pretty special. Since you brought it up, your third Gator Nationals win ties you with Don Garlands for Gator National wins. Very nice. Yeah, I tell you, I, I watched, uh, you know, obviously him and Connie were uh, rivals and, uh, you know, somebody I've always looked up to and, you know, still do. So uh, that's pretty cool. Questions? Yes, Doug, you, Doug, your team had a real celebration at the start line. How emotional was this win for you and the team in general? You know, we've been trying to get a win, uh, you know, all year. We've been right on the cuff. So, uh, um, you know, those guys, you know, I certainly would not want to be at the bottom of that pack, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but no, it's, it's, you know, you know, all our four teams, uh, you know, it, we have great support amongst the teams, you know, we consider ourselves, uh, you know, one big four car team. So, uh, you know, it's, it's great that, uh, you know, we can all get in there and celebrate. And, uh, I was happy when all my guys made it to the end of the track and nobody was hurt so uh, uh but no it's uh you know it's the gator nationals oh yeah Doug, with the uh rival tool sponsors you and antron brown have and the uh, wins you've traded back and forth and is, is that becoming a race that you really get yourself up for yeah um you know it seems like anybody you end up running against on sunday is uh is definitely tough and uh, but yeah the mech the tool car um uh, rounds um, you know there's a lot of distributors out there that uh, are watching or paying close attention so um, uh, you know just very fortunate to you know I feel very fortunate to get by those guys uh, you know anytime that you can so uh, uh, it seems like it goes back and forth hopefully it'll be a little more on the Mac tool side than the Maco side so uh, we'll see how it goes this year Bob you have anything Time for six now. Yeah, question. Can you analyze your final run? Um, <clears throat> the good thing is I've never seen Antran, so uh, <laughs> you know, that's something that if you can see somebody out there, even though you know the cowling and everything else. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was just hoping for the best. Uh, tried to cut the best light I could, and uh, you know, it's one of those deals. You just just keep that baby in the groove and you know, hope you see a win light. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy when I see that thing come on. I do have one more question for you. It was a little bit of lean years for Team Coletta the last couple. You mentioned we are a four-car team. You now have won two of the first three races. One of your four cars has. Yeah, um, you know, I have to, you know, the crew chiefs, you know, with Jim and Connie, um, that chemistry is coming together. Yeah, I'm real proud of those guys. Uh, uh, you know, the Oberhoffers have been with us for, uh, you know, a number of years, John and Jim, uh, you know, and Jim uh, is the oversight really for all all four cars, you know, and kind of keeps a close eye on them. So, uh, 
But yeah, Tommy D's doing a great job with that win with Alexis's car, and uh, you know, hopefully we're starting to, to gel and figure this, uh, you know, figure out how to get a little more consistent because uh, you know these all the, the top fuel and funny car classes are uh, are tough, as you know. So uh, uh, take advantage of it when you can.